Pisces, what's up? Um, this is going to be a reading for you, my dear soul family. We're going to take a look at um, something that you experienced this past week, or maybe everything. I don't know. We're just getting four cards. And then we'll take a look at the lesson that you were meant to learn, okay, from this situation or, or um, throughout this past week. All right. I do feel like there's some kind of betrayal um, that occurred or, or um, that a lot of you are feeling intuitively. I was also getting something about New York City. Okay, New York City in particular. I'm seeing NYC. So maybe you guys spent some time in New York City or this person is from New York or you are from New York City. I don't know. Yeah, the, the Hierophant. Okay. All right, show me Pisces, please. What happened with Pisces? But yeah, the Ten of Swords just flew out as I was um, doing your pre-shuffle. And I was like, well, all right, I guess we're getting started. And there you were at the bottom of the deck with the moon. All right, the Ace of Coins. Okay. So your money is looking good. <laughs> okay, you may have received a new opportunity or um, as some people say, your first dollar this past week. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, here's your energy. So you're looking good, Pisces. Um, you, I feel like you're, you're in your own energy. You are floating around, dancing around, lively, but some there's some sense of betrayal that's attached to that, all right? It may have to do with your money, your finances, your resources, your time. I'm hearing eligibility as well so something about someone being eligible all right someone 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 feels hurt as well that they are not eligible or feeling as though they weren't good enough there's something about that that's here but we'll tap into that as we move on i want to first talk about your energy which is this ace of coins so you've started something new some new investment something's taking off i feel like you're really happy about it yeah here's this three of swords here's the betrayal and then the moon card right behind it so there's some disappointment someone someone maybe someone feels like you're leaving them behind okay for some of you all right what else what else please i like that ace of coins okay you're working really hard <clears throat> you're focused on something in particular okay Yeah, a manifestation. We just talked about this too, okay? So something has come back to you in the in the in the in its physical form. Something that you have manifested. Page of Swords, of course. <laughs> of course the Page of Swords is here because someone's hurt. Okay, so they may have expressed this to you, Pisces, or you just feel it intuitively, like someone is jealous. All right, there is some jealousy here. Someone feels like like you're not talking to them or like you've left them behind or maybe like that you're doing something intentionally, all right? I also feel like this person is, I don't usually say this with the Page of Swords. Yeah, the Two of Wands. I feel like this person's looking at your stuff or around, okay, in particular. They want your attention, whoever this person is, or they said something to try to get your attention. The Page of Swords is somebody who just wants to know everything about you. Yeah, this person feels left out. They feel left out. They feel like you're changing as well, like you're changing or or uh, maybe your physical appearance is changing or the nature of the relationship is changing. I do feel like this person's trying, they want to come along with you where, on whatever new journey you're on, Pisces, but you, I don't know, what are you What are you doing here? Are you, are you talking to them? Are you not talking to them? Have you told them? This person... <clears throat> Excuse me. This person just feels as though they are being left out. Two of Wands, Temperance, and the Lovers. So this is someone who's saying, "Let's." Well, what happened? Th this person wants to fix things. Okay, I don't know what happened. They're, they're also, um, yeah, they see you looking good, smelling good, doing well for yourself. There's something about that that's really significant, all right? And, and again, I feel like for a lot of you, it may be like they're looking at your social media or uh, maybe they're seeing you out and about or seeing pictures of you or someone someone um, else is talking about what you have going on. There's something about this that's making them like jealous, 
All right, what else, please? What else happened with Pisces or for Pisces this past week? Yeah, the Eight of Coins. All right, you're, you're doing your own thing over here. I feel like you're not focused on this person at all, but we'll continue to go and see what else. Yeah, the High Priestess. All right, you're doing your own thing here, Pisces, and someone is like, where is Pisces? What's Pisces doing? How does Pisces feel about me? What is Pisces thinking? Pisces is thinking nothing about you, person, if you're cross-watching. <laughs> Pisces is literally, and if they are, it's like way back there in their mind, okay? Because Pisces is focused on their coin, focused on their dollar, focused on their stability, focused on their security, focused on knowing their work and their worth, okay? That's what Pisces is doing, if you're curious. I feel like this just came out in your last reading, too. I feel like I had to tell the cross watcher. I feel like I had to tell somebody. This is what Pisces is doing, in case you were wondering. Or was that in a reading I was watching? I don't know, but it's here. This is what Pisces is doing. For those of you who are watching another Pisces reading, I don't know. Yeah, High Priestess. But the Five of Coins is here, and here's another Lover's card because this person feels separate from you. They want to know what you're doing. All right, tell me more. One more. One more, please. I feel like this person is looking at your pictures, too, whether it's pictures that they have on their phone or pictures online. Like, they, wanna, they, they miss your face, okay? Yeah, the Six of Swords. They feel like you've moved on. This is what I was seeing way back with the Ace of Coins. This person feels like you have moved on and, and, and you're, you don't want anything to do with them or you've moved on without them. Like the Six of Swords is somebody who, um, similar to the Fool card, yeah, the Wheel of Fate, you've gone in a new direction. Similar to the Fool card is somebody who is leaving the troubles behind, leaving the jealous, envious person behind, leaving the person with the ego problems behind, leaving the, the, the people who um, don't have their best interests at heart, leaving the people who just want to argue all the time, leaving the people who have a negative energy, leaving the environment that's abusive and moving forward. I have to leave that stuff back there. I'm going to go explore something new that is more exciting, that's more peaceful. All right, I feel like that's what you're doing right now and someone is like hey wait about me <laughs> what's the lesson please <laughs> what's the lesson very different energy this could be an air sign you're dealing with you're sitting over here in this earth energy like okay, focus on on your stability and feeling grounded all right, making sure your environment is good. And this person is very much in their head and curious and confused. All right, very different planes that you're on. All right, what's the lesson, please? I'm hearing be fruitful and multiply. Multiply? That's really interesting. Okay. So maybe you have children with them or or this person wants to have children with you or something like that the ace of wands is your lesson all right so the ace of wands is um exciting an exciting new beginning it's passion all right you have the emperor here at the bottom of the deck so focusing on your stability yeah okay you're trying to be responsible very disciplined at this time which i feel like you are all right, the Ace of Wands is, is, is inspiring, it's exciting, it's passion, it's um, the solar plexus chakra, it's, it's, it's the sacral chakra, okay, your desires, focusing on your passions, all right, that's what, that's what your lesson has been, and I feel like you've already, you're already doing that, you're focused on something, you're focused on building yourself up, okay, the responsibilities that you have, yeah, there's your energy with the, um, hanged man all right you have certain responsibilities here that have to come before and, and also like in making a dis making the best decision for everyone involved as well that's a part of your lesson all right pouring into yourself yeah pouring into yourself okay but prior to pouring into other people that's really important okay that's what i have like share and subscribe